Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In the previous video, we talked about how to create custom post type using CPT UI plugin and how to design it using Elementor Pro without writing a single piece of code. Now you can check that out in the CPT UI playlist. In this video, we're concerned about creating our custom taxonomy. We created custom fields. We know how to work with custom post types. Now it's turn to learn about custom taxonomies, right? Again, you can do that with CPT UI plugin, but what really are taxonomies? Now, taxonomies are a way to organize your posts or custom post types. WordPress has two built in taxonomies, they're categories and tags. So, if I click on posts and click on categories in the URL, you can see that this is a taxonomy with a slug called category. Similarly, when I click on tags, it's a taxonomy with post tag. Now, these are both public and they're available to be queried by themes or plugins. So you can retrieve data, organize data, and display a bunch of posts under the, those categories or tags. That's the reason why you have categories and tags. Now, you can create your own taxonomies other than these, and that's the reason why they're called custom taxonomies. So you are creating those taxonomies WordPress doesn't know them. These are defined by uh, your WordPress software itself. Now, if you go to my templates of Elementor, even they have a taxonomy or custom taxonomy. If I click on categories, you can see that even this is a taxonomy called Elementor library category, right? So they created a custom taxonomy to organize their templates. We created a custom post type called my reviews. Now we can create a custom taxonomy to organize our custom post types called reviews or we can create basically a custom taxonomy to organize any post type. So it can be posts, pages, it can be templates, it can be any custom post type defined by any plugin. So you need to have CPT UI installed. Click on add or edit taxonomies. It will bring you to this. Now I want to create a taxonomy for Elementor templates, right? Even my templates is are a post type. So I'll create a taxonomy called priority. I'll copy this. And I'll attach this taxonomy to my templates, which is the custom post type defined by Elementor. I'll also click this to populate all the labels. Now, we don't need this taxonomy to be public, right? We just need this to organize our templates in the admin screen. They need not be retrieved using any public data. And we don't even want them to be hierarchical. So categories are hierarchical. You can have child categories of categories and stuff like that. And rest all will leave as is. And I think everything else is fine. We'll also show them in admin column. And we'll also show them in quick edit panel. I'll just click on add tax taxonomy. We just created a taxonomy called priority. Now when I click on templates, you can see the taxonomy over here and I've already created a couple of taxonomies or couple of tags under it. So these will basically act like your tags. So I can create two taxonomies or two tags called high and low and I can organize my templates by using these two tags. I'll just click on add new priority. It's similar to adding tags except that this taxonomy or this particular taxonomy is associated with my templates post type. Now I can go to my saved templates. So let's say I just want to work on few pages before others really quick. So I can click on quick edit and priority I can simply search for high and I can update that right. Now we can simply view all the high priority templates by clicking on this it will bring us or give us all the high priority templates or you can click on priority from here and you can click on the count number even that will bring you to all the templates with high priority 
you can also set few theme builder templates so let's say i just want to set the priority of this to high i'll search for that and there it is i'll update i'll simply click on high and you can see both the theme builder template and also this template is organized under this taxonomy so that's the reason why you have taxonomies let's create another custom taxonomy for our reviews post type which we created in the previous video check out cpt ui playlist for more info on how to create custom post types even this video is a part of that so i'll create maybe top rated or recommended taxonomy i'll attach it to reviews and i'll just I want to show them in the quick edit panel. I also want them to I'll set hierarchical to true. I'll click on add taxonomy and there our taxonomy is. So I can go to any of the reviews or the any of the post types created. I can either click on edit, add category to it or add the taxonomy to it. Let's actually create few taxonomies so the first one is top rated the slug is top hyphen rated click on add new recommended editors choice i'll also add this click on all reviews now i can simply click on quick edit there's our editor's choice simply click that and just like that it's organized over there we can also design an archive page for it so that user can see all the editor choice reviews right you can of course design it the way you designed an archive page for all your custom post types similarly you can design an archive page for this custom taxonomy all you need to do is to go to Elementor Theme Builder, click on Archive, click on Add New, and define a template and set the conditions to this taxonomy. So I'll call it Reviews Taxonomy. I'll click on Create Template. This is an archive generated by the custom taxonomy. will basically insert anything I'll just insert this template for now I'll click on yes so that template will have all the custom post types We can set the custom loop as well. We'll set the reviews loop that we created in the previous video. You can check that out. I'll publish. I'll click on add condition. Now I'll set this to this taxonomy that appears under this reviews archive. So I'll just click on recommended and I'll click on save and close. Now let's go back to our dashboard. We just created a template for our custom taxonomy as well and we defined a loop. This is from the previous video. You can check that out how we designed archives for our. Now if I click on recommended and when I click on view, there's only one review in it. So it will be just one template. This is a post widget. We need to use archive post widget. I'll just drag in archive posts here. Archive post will automatically pull in the necessary post types. I'll just click this. 
will set the custom content custom loop update let's reload this template now it will show archives or all the posts or reviews under that particular template just like that since we added just one review post type to our custom taxonomy it's just showing one loop item here if you have multiple it will show multiple loop items that's how custom taxonomies work and that's how you design a template using elementor pro for your custom taxonomy as well that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up catch you in the next one peace